The Rockets took care of the T Wolves yesterday, man. 117, 111. What's going on up there in Minnesota, uh, man? You, Come man. on, both of y'all. Yes, hey, man. Minnesota's finest. Let's... Julius Randle turning the ball over like he did, man, it was, it's, I don't know. It's just one of them games, though. I still believe in my guys, man, but JR got to get it together, bro. He looked crazy out there. Man, listen, with the second season with the Rockets, how M.A. looking, man? M.A., he a special coach, man. He the reason. All right, this going to sound crazy, but it's not really. He like Mark Jackson for the Warriors. You know how he got him going? Mm-hmm. And then Steve Kerr came over and got him over the hump. M.A. got the Boston Celtics going. Uh, Joe Mazzulla was able to come in and get him over the hump. So he know what he's doing. He know how to build a team. Mm. He know how to get guys to believe in something. And the Rockets right now are playing at a high level. And they actually got a pretty good team. I know being still skeptical on the Rockets, man. They 13 to 6 right now, third in the West. They playing, they playing good, man. I was just out there, man. Shout out, shout out to the guys, man. <laughs> shout out to the guys, man. You seen Thir- them 13 and 6 is a hell of a record, man. You seen them out? They was outside. <laughs> <clears throat> That's no cap. <laughs> We was in the club together. Oh, man. You in the club with M.A.? <laughs> nah, M.A., nah. I ain't with no smart on M.A. But M.A. Your, your, players, your M.A. players was out there. That The niggas 8 through 13 <laughs> <laughs> was next to us, for sure. <laughs> for sure. That's funny, man. Listen, they, they're they a team, I like you said, in the West. They young, but if they can figure it out and, you know what I'm saying, get a little bit of adversity and some maturity to go to the playoffs, they're a dangerous team. They got a lot of good players on that team, man, from the guards to the wings, for sure, and the bigs, obviously. They need an all-star, though, to to make some noise, for real. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not expecting them to even win a playoff game, but for them to get into a – like, they go into a first-round series with confidence, that's a great season for them. No, 13-6 to get your season kicked off, nobody expected that. So, no, that's no. that's what's up. Especially after having a lottery, you know what I'm yeah. saying, season last year. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I love that group. Um, I love the wings they got. I love Tari mm-hmm. East. <laughs> I love Twin Thompson. I love how they play defense and compete. And then Dylan yeah. Brooks, man, not for shit show, but like he kind of know how to unite a team, bro. Mm-hmm. Like he, he got Memphis going. You gotta think he was like, I'm not gonna say the backbone of Memphis, but he kind of was. He like spearheaded a lot of stuff for them. Yeah. He gave them a lot of confidence, and you could see him doing that same with this group. Like, I know he be wilding or whatever he be doing, but shit, that shit kind of work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he 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 puts his shield in front of the team. He's like, I'm going to do all the bullshit. I'm going to take all the hate. Y'all yeah. can hoop freely. Ain't no confidence. I'm going to wild out regardless if he scored 30 or 10. And he produces as well. He competes, and he bring that energy. Yeah. That's why he got paid. But you got to think, Memphis hasn't been the same since Dylan Brooks left. Yeah. I and mean, that's just me being honest. Like, they had, like, he was doing all that bullshit, but they had like a grit and like a grind to him mm-hmm. that was like kind of like that old team, the grit and grind game. He yeah. kind of brought that that energy, and then having Tyus Jones too. But he brought that to the Rockets, and now the Rockets are a serious contender in the in the West, low and, key. And we talked about that with Dylan Brooks. Like, <clears throat> what's the one thing Memphis always needed was a bigger wing, a more skilled wing. While he wasn't an All Star, he was the best one they had, and it was mm-hmm. obvious they had that success with him, especially with the energy brought. Yeah. What's up with your Timberwolves, man? What they gonna do, man? We good, bro. Don't they good? Worry about it. Yeah, we good. I don't bro. think they good, bro. Right? A good lot of people bro. saying, you know what I'm saying? All right, we let the young guys play. They're like, <clears> at <throat> some point, we gotta see what the young guys can do because we stagnant right now. We need something. Yeah, they I mean, you. Rob Dillingham, you know, let him play back to back over, you know, 10 plus, but bro, we still figuring it out. We just gotta come together, bro. You it's know, all right. I, th- I think they had caught lightning in the bottle last year. Mm-hmm. The vibes was good. AE first shoe drop. Like they gotta drop a two or something. Like it's coming in February. We still wait. You know, East, they still <laughs> dropping colorways on the one. Shit getting ran out. So damn. They, no, I'm just saying. Like I mean, it ain't a strawberry, my niggas. Kinda <laughs> now. Update me. <laughs> oh no, we're not gonna do that to the shoe of the year, man. We're not gonna do that. But you know what I'm Shout saying? Shout to AE. It's it, it shoe fire, but it's shoe of the year. But damn, how I many colorways are gonna drop? Well, yeah. everybody on the team gotta wear some apparently because yeah. they need his special pairs. Because Rudy, yeah. like you said yesterday, can't catch but the ball. But damn, they didn't drop 23 colorways. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, only got them. we for making a drastic change or going crazy. It was like, all right, listen, we having a great season. I don't know if we're gonna have another one. Let's do whatever we can do to see if we can get over the hump this year because we know this live would be gone next year. Nah, you, they were too young. You were supposed to run this year, I think, would have been a different kind of vibe because they knew what to expect. They know each other. They would have played well. Yeah. But now you make that big drastic change. And I feel like it would have been easier to insert Rob Dillingham 
Because yeah, it's like facts. now we can play and we already comfortable with ourselves. Trying to get yeah. DiVincenzo comfortable. JR is uncomfortable. Yeah. A, like, Rudy, get your sad ass out the paint. And they doing day. it on the fly. They ain't really even have yeah. training camp. Because of how late the trade was. Late yeah. trade, no training camp. <clears throat> and it's like a easier for New York, it's easier to plug in cats. Mm-hmm. U to five, be you. Yeah. We, we adjust never to you. had that. Yeah, we adjust to you. It's harder for JR, who was a go to guy in New mm-hmm. York, to adjust to being second option. You know what I mean? Yeah. So most definitely, yeah. They're gonna have to figure that out. We definitely took a dead losing cat. I I'll never be a fool to say that was an even trade even before the season started because cat is just that nigga. But hopefully my boys figure it out, man. It's just funny to hear how, you know what I'm saying, everybody's tune changed about it. We're just like, Oh, we have to get a cat up out of here, we got JR like and vice versa. Nah, no, I, I I I a lot of people are eating words now because cat killing and the Timberwolves looking like they're mortgaging their season on seeing if JR is gonna fit for that team. And I don't think they got enough time to keep figuring that out. I told you that was a bad trade. I thought it was a win for New York. Mm. I never liked the AE and JR together. They Thank just you. they just threw the money aspect in there to try to make us feel like they did the right thing when they realized they probably messed up for sure. Yeah, I mean they could have ran it back one more year. That's yeah. all it was. They could have did the same trade next year. Kobe and Shaq, man, get it together, bro. We all right. We good. Kobe and Shaq. He's We're out good. of pocket. Uh, the Bulls took care of Wizards yesterday. Uh, everybody be Y'all are Kobe days. and Shaq. Kobe 2016. Shaq 09. Yeah. You out of pocket. 09? <laughs> you said 09, Shaq? Yeah. Colin JR and Shaq 09 <laughs> is wild, bro. Where was he in 09? Phoenix? Boston. WWE. Oh, wow. The fuck? And Phoenix <laughs> and Boston and the Celtics. What was Shaq number with the Celtics? The big. I sent the, the girl, I sent the girl, like, I sent the girl, what was his number? I was like, this is you now, bitch. You used to be cold. You... <laughs> Malcolm, get Shaq number for me with the Celtics. <laughs> oh, I, I think it was 36. <laughs> 38. <laughs> it is 36 or something weird like that. It was. I was where Shaq in Boston. <laughs> there was the <clears throat> um, the Pat Ewing and Kim Olajuwon when it was with the rappers and the Magic. Oh, That's Lord. That's the nasty one, I'm going to take Pat with the Magic. Pat with the Pat. Pat with the Magic was through. Them knee pads were super <laughs> weak. <laughs> He That's a super, crazy drop off. He was super through. He 36. was 36. <laughs> this you now? <laughs> this you, yeah. Shout out to the high school reunions, man. It get uh, wicked like that sometimes. Uh, Bulls beats the Wizards 127 to 108. Boy, Kobe White. Yeah, come on. Quit hating your boy, man. I hate, you know, that shit I got. He had 21 yesterday. He do his thing. Who just thing? 19, 18 for Levine. Uh, listen, they have already kind of came out and says, listen, Vooch and Levine are for sale, quote unquote. So we'll see where they end up. I don't expect either one of them to be in that team past Valentine's Day.